Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kojak. We're going to have a little bit of Team Deathmatch running in the background as we discuss the financial expectations of Call of Duty Ghosts, or the lack thereof. Compared to last year's Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghosts numbers don't even come close. And the funny thing is, Activision actually expected this due to the uncertainty of next-gen buyers, they say. But even with those systems now being out, they're still seeing a drop. I think partly because... They're trying to compete with new games coming out like Rise, Son of Rome, Forza 5, and Dead Rising, just to name a few. Now if we actually go back and look at the numbers and compare this year to last year, it, it's pretty shocking. Black Ops 2, on release night, brought in $500 million. Now they're saying that Call of Duty Ghosts, compared to that, their sales are down 19, almost 20%. Now... When you start thinking 20% of $500 million, that's $100 million. And if you take into consideration the average price point of the game being the $60, there's some that are buying the Prestige and the Harden, and that's a little bit more. But just based off the numbers, if everybody had bought the $60 game, that's over 1.5 million copies that weren't sold compared to last year. Uh, do you think some of these numbers are due to the game itself? Were they not advertising enough? Were they not advertising correctly? Or is it just the in-game play that draws people away? It's a little bit different than what we've seen in previous Call of Duties. Uh, the pace is kind of the same, but the feel is a little bit different. Uh, but you got to learn to adapt and change. Overall, I really enjoy the game. But what are your guys' expectations of the game? What were they? What are they now that we've played it? Does that kind of change your mind when you decide, oh, I have Xbox 360 now, and I'm going to go to a next-gen console. Do I want to buy the game again? Do I want to trade the other one in? Or do I want to start playing something new because I've already decided that I don't like this one? And maybe you turn it in and you end up getting a game for Xbox One or PS4. But overall, what are your thoughts? What could they have done differently before to make the game better now? And do you think that would have brought more attention, even with the next-gen advertisement being out there with the new games, do you think the numbers would have been better? Personally, I think they would have been a little bit better if it was not released so close to the next-gen systems. I think they were expecting a lot more people to end up buying the game twice, which from the looks of it with the numbers, I mean, numbers don't lie. The numbers are down, which means they did something terribly wrong to be losing over a hundred million dollars. I don't know. It seems like year after year, we continue to tell them as a community what we want to see in a game. And for the most part, they're not listening. Now, if you guys feel like your expectations were not met with this new Call of Duty goes, go ahead and hit the like button and in the comments section put what your expectations were and were they met were they not met but thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you on my next video mission accomplished a good day's work